Yes. But first, let's get right out to Sheena Loshudo, who is live in Lewiston, Maine, for us tonight with the latest. Sheena. Well, it was certainly a somber and quiet right up here to Maine. The road that's blocked off right behind me, you see, that leads to the bowling alley. We, of course, now know that that is one of two deadly scenes here in Lewiston. Now, this area and the surrounding area remains under a shelter in place. Businesses are closed. Parking lots are empty. It's very quiet because as we're approaching 24 hours after this deadly shooting, that suspect remains at large. A manhunt for a suspected mass shooter continues. This is the man police are looking for. 40 year old Robert Card. A warrant is out for his arrest. Card is accused of fatally shooting at least 18 people, injuring 13 in the city of Lewis and Maine. Authorities say Card went into two businesses first, a local bowling alley, then a local pool bar armed. In a matter of minutes, sheer chaos shattering Maine's second largest populated city. My administration is behind law enforcement's efforts to capture the person of interest, Robert Card, to hold whoever is responsible for this atrocity accountable under the full force of state and federal law and to seek full justice for the victims and their families. But why? The motive remains a mystery. As authorities emphasize, the focus remains on tracking down the suspect. Police say there have been no reported sightings of him since the shootings. Police say the suspected shooter has a military background. I continue to strongly urge Maine people to follow the direction of state and local law enforcement. Now, police are holding several press conferences when they have updates here. At this point right now, police say they are still working to identify 10 of the victims. And so far, they have not said anything about any of the victims or their ages. At this point, this remains a very active investigation. And we, of course, will be here as it all develops. Reporting live in Lewiston, Maine tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. And we continue our team coverage on the main shootings here locally. Chairman of the Armed Services Committee, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed, tells us the suspect's military background could help him evade capture. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera sat down with the senator and joins us live in studio. Adriana. Well, Mike Shannon, locally, Mass State Police canceled a be on the lookout alert they had issued this morning, but they continue searching for this suspect. Senator Jack Reed saying the suspect's military background might influence how long it takes to capture him. Flags being flown at half staff as the country mourns after another mass shooting. The tragedy in Lewiston becoming the 36th mass killing this year. Former Army Ranger Senator Jack Reed tells us federal law enforcement is already on scene or on standby. Uh, the question right now is finding this individual and uh, subduing him, hopefully uh, without any more loss of life. and and then get him into the uh, judicial system as quickly as possible. Reed says based on the images he saw of the gun used, it's clear to him it was an assault weapon. Assault weapons are military weapons. I know that because that's what I used when I was in the service. They're not designed to be particularly accurate. They're designed to kill people like they did today. The suspect, identified as 40-year-old Robert Card, is a U.S. Army reservist who had previously been training in West Point. Reed tells us basic military training could lend the suspect a hand in evading capture. But anyone with uh, several years' experience in military knows how to use an assault weapon. He has also, I presume, uh, skills of escape and evasion that he's developed in basic training. All these skills are taught. Now, as for what you can do to help the victims, the Red Cross has put out a call for those who are type O negative to consider donating blood. So far, they've sent 175 75 blood units for victims in Maine. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas.